My name is Julien Mathieu. I'm Belgian, I'm 33, and I'm working as a logistics coordinator in Kyrgyzstan. Here in Kyrgyzstan, we've launched a tuberculosis program in Osh in the south. As a logistics coordinator, my main role is to support the logistics team in the field regarding the priorities, strategy and objectives to be set. But some problems require more specialized technical advice. So the logistics challenge here, as we're working with tuberculosis, which is transmitted by air, is to ensure hospitals and patients' rooms are ventilated. This is crucial. We use UV lamps. These kill the bacillus only in the upper part of the room. So we need the air to circulate from the bottom to the top to make sure that all the bacillus are killed. The problem is that we use fans. We can't just open the windows because it's too cold and the patients and nurses aren't happy about having a fan on in the middle of winter. So the smoke test will give us something visual with which to show them why we have to use a fan, how it makes the air rise and fall, neutralizing the bacillus at the top. And you can see that it's coming down, eh? Yeah. In terms of supply, there's a huge market here. That's a good thing. The problem lies in the fact that we're an international organization. We have big cars, it's clear we're well off. So when we have to enter into a contract or buy something, we tend to get quoted higher than normal prices. And that is part of my job too, to get decent prices. I started working for MSF in 2010, and in 2011-2012 I met my wife. We've been here one year now. Here in Kyrgyzstan, it's the context that's difficult. It's especially hard for my wife, who's Tanzanian. It's the cold, the language. The cultural codes are different. And yes, you can have a family and still be a humanitarian worker, but it depends a lot on your partner. They need to be very strong, patient and stable. My wife has shown a lot of strength here. Humanitarian workers have something in common, and I think it's that they're people who seek out intensity. In my case, it was the pursuit of intensity and of an ideal. Now I've truly found my path. I'm truly fulfilled. I do what I love, and I do something I'm good at as well. I've found my place, you know, my niche.